Let's take you to the grand event uh, that the Interpol is now planning. Ahead of Interpol's centenary, India will be hosting the General Assembly of the World Police Organization. 195 countries, which is almost all UN members, will participate in this event, which will be in most likelihood inaugurated by the Prime Minister on the 18th of this month. Now, I caught up uh, with former CBI Chief Rishi Kumar Shukla as to why this is important. Mr. Shukla, thank you so much uh, for joining us, uh, taking time out uh, to try and understand why this is important. Now, this event actually was, the, the decision to host this event was taken in, in, in your leadership of the Central Bureau of Investigation. Help us understand the process and why India hosting this event is of significance as far as our policing is concerned. So, thank you for inviting me to talk to your viewers. The, as a police professional, I know that uh, the importance of cooperation between different police forces is perhaps the key to success in investigations. The international cooperation uh, is a very essential thing for, as you know, over a period of years, very many international cases are being investigated by Indian law enforcement agencies. Interpol is a very key multilateral organization, almost 100 years old. In 2019, the Secretary General of the Interpol was to visit India. Uh, I had a discussion with the Honorable uh, uh, Prime Minister and he immediately suggested that we should take this opportunity to host the General Assembly in 2022 this being the 75th year of Indian independence. Right. But but this is also coming uh, on, on the heels, close on the heels of India preparing to hold the G20 summit as well. As far as the importance of the conference is concerned, is it only limited to India diplomatically arriving on the world stage, showcasing the ability to hold 195 countries, delegations, top delegations of the world? Or is it also uh, signifying India's rise as, as uh, a police power in terms of policing, what does, uh, is, is, uh, is this conference going to signify, the importance of this conference? Certainly, as I said, 195 members of the Interpol, 195 countries are sending their delegation to this event. And probably, as far as my knowledge goes, such a big event in which 195 member nations are participating is one in itself in India. Secondly, in this year, the 75th year of our independence, we will be able to let the world know that we are actually now in the position where we can very rightly claim to be a, 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 a very strong influencer in world politics, law enforcement, in almost every aspect of uh, uh, world activities. Mm -hmm. More so, Interpol, which began a hundred years back, predating the UN, is a professional police organization, uh, let us say brotherhood, where police officers from all over the world get together and discuss professional matters. Right. So, so as far as uh, the common viewers' understanding of Interpol is concerned, it has more to do with the red corner notice and the other notices which help us in, in tracking down especially economic fugitives uh, from Indian law. Now, this is coming, this General Assembly is coming at a time when we have an Indian officer on the decision-making body of Interpol. So, together, do you think these two events, the fact that we have an Indian representative there and it is being, the General Assembly is being hosted by India, is it going to help us in any way uh, when we go out and look for these fugitives of law? Absolutely, you're absolutely right. In fact, that is uh, another thing which we had sort of uh, begun to about uh, two years back when we decided that let us try and get one of our own persons within the Interpol decision-making you know, uh, council so that our point of view is heard strongly. We have earlier had a few CBI directors who were part of the executive committee their membership, but this was for quite some time that we had no representation. Therefore, we uh, got this approval of the government of India, and it was a it was a effort by the Ministry of External Affairs who, who coordinated it with countries all around, and uh, 
It was a very successful uh, election which Mr. Praveen Sinha, the now special director, uh, contested last year and uh, he, he won that election and his presence on the Interpol Executive Committee and Council meetings has been a boon for India. We are able to make our point strongly. The concerns which we had regarding red corner and other notices can be addressed on a one-to-one -one basis and therefore it is certainly very beneficial that in this particular year where India is hosting the General Assembly, we have an important uh, representative on the Executive Council. Right. This is Rishi Kumar Shukla, former CBI Director. Thank you so much for explaining this to us. It's a big event. 18th of October is when uh, Interpol's General Assembly for this year is going to be inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India. Child pornography, narcotics and, and uh, human trafficking are key agenda points. We'll keep an eye on that story. But there's also another big event coming.